with Ted Anderson now a convicted felon, he was disqualified as a candidate for the Texas State Senate, and so Charles Maynard won the Republican nomination for the office by default. Likewise, Sandy Smith won the Democratic nomination, as the only Democrat running for that office. Maynard had already posted thousands of flyers blasting Ted Anderson for his previous record as mayor of his town and for being charged with destruction of public property. So after Ted Anderson was convicted, Sandy Smith and Charles Maynard were free to turn on each other. They agreed to meet up for a public debate in Dallas that was broadcast live by a local news station. Hello, I am Charles Maynard, the Republican running for a spot on the Texas State Senate. And I am Sandy Smith the Democrat running for the Texas State Senate. I'd like to know your views on abortion. How will you vote on that issue once you are elected? I am firmly pro-choice. I believe that the government has no business passing laws banning abortion. It is a medical issue, not a proper political or moral one. But don't you believe in the rights and dignity of all people? Why shouldn't the unborn be included in that? How can the destruction of their lives be justified? If you have a fetus that is younger than 24 weeks, it is not yet viable outside their mother. Therefore, it has no life of its own yet. You cannot logically argue for the right to life of someone that actually has no life yet. And if the pregnancy is terminated, no life was actually destroyed. You can't destroy what doesn't exist yet. Laws banning abortion actually destroy the rights and dignity of one half of the population if they happen to get pregnant. But men never have to worry about losing their bodily autonomy, so anti-abortion laws are by nature sexist. If we believe in equality for all, abortion must be legal. I once read about a young man who had a relationship with a woman who got pregnant from him, but they broke up soon afterwards and the man never knew about the pregnancy before the baby was born. Five years later, the woman came back into his life. She told her ex-lover that they had a son and he was suffering from leukemia and needed a bone marrow transplant. But since the man had never consented to be a father, he refused to donate his bone marrow to save his son. And the mother could do nothing to force her ex to give her son bone marrow, because the law was on the man's side. Indeed, there is no law requiring that a man give up a part of his body to save another. So why force women to give up their bodily autonomy at any time? Finally, I find it so hypocritical that so many pro-life people are also pro-war and pro-death penalty. War and executions kill the already born, right? I understand all that. But the problem is that allowing abortions whenever we want is to encourage a throwaway culture in which almost nothing is truly valued. We should be working to prevent pregnancies so abortion won't be such a hot issue. How will you approach the issue of gun control? The Second Amendment clearly states that the right of the people to bear arms shall not be infringed. Laws banning assault weapons are pointless, because criminals won't obey them and when criminals get such weapons, law-abiding citizens can't defend themselves. So you expect everyone to own and carry around assault weapons? Do you have any idea how unrealistic that is? And you forgot the first part of the Second Amendment, which says, a well-regulated militia, being necessary to a free state. In accordance with that amendment, all gun owners should register with the state government and sign up to be members of the state militia. If they are not willing to serve the state, then they should be considered potential terrorists and thus a possible threat to the rest of us. And what is your position on gay rights? As the mother of a lesbian, I am determined to fight for her rights and dignity as a human being and so the state law banning gay marriage must be repealed. I actually agree with Mrs. Smith on this issue. One of my cousins that I grew up with came out as gay about 10 years ago and his being gay doesn't stop him from being a great guy. Banning someone's marriage is insulting to one's humanity, just as I see banning guns as insulting to human rights. I favor gun control, not banning guns completely. I wish you Republicans would stop repeating that lie about us trying to ban all guns. Thank you for your statements here and tonight, and may the best candidate win.